In this video, let us learn to draw the ER diagram for hospital management system topic. So the first step is we need to choose the entities. Entity means object with physical existence or conceptual existence. So entity means it should be an object. So in hospital, there will be doctors and patients will go and visit doctors. Next, the patient will go and buy the medicine from the medical shop. So, doctor is physically existing, therefore it is an entity. Patient is also a person and patient is physically existing, therefore it is also an entity. Next, medicine. Medicine, you cannot say that it is physically existing, but the patients go and buy the medicine. So, therefore, it is conceptually existing. So, therefore, medicine is also an entity. Entity must be written inside a rectangular box. So, we need to draw three rectangular boxes. So, over here I am going to draw my first rectangular box and write doctor inside it. Next, I am going to draw the second rectangular box and write my Second entity name which is patient. Third rectangular box and write medicine. So the three entities are doctor, patient and medicine. Therefore I have written it inside the rectangular box. The second step is I should write the attributes associated with the entities. Attribute means characteristics of entity. An attribute must be written inside oval. So first if you take doctor, doctor will have a name. The characteristic of doctor. So doctor will have a name. So all the attributes must be written inside an oval. So name. This name can be further divided as first name. Middle name and last name. I can call this attribute name as composite attribute. Composite attribute means I will be able to divide it further. I am able to divide this name further as first name, middle name and last name. Therefore, this name is a composite attribute. Okay, what are the other attributes associated with doctor? Let us see that now. Next, doctor will have an ID. So, doctor's ID. Doctor ID. So, I should underline this word doctor ID because doctor ID is a primary key. I should write the attribute inside the oval and then I should underline the primary key. Because doctor will have only one ID. And that same ID no other doctor will be having. Or no other person will be having. That ID will be unique for each and every doctor. So therefore this is a primary key. So I have underlined. Next doctor will have an address. Next doctor will have a phone number. I should write this phone number inside double oval because this phone number is multi-valued attribute. Multi-value attribute means this doctor can have more than one phone number also. It is not that this doctor will be having only one single phone number. So, this doctor can have more than one phone number. Therefore, this is a multi-value attribute. And that's the reason why I have written this phone number inside double oval. So, these are all the attributes of the entity doctor. Next, attributes of the entity patient. Patient will have a name. And that will be further divided as first name, middle name and last name. So again over here name is a composite attribute because we are able to divide this attribute further as first name, middle name and last name. 
Next, again, patient will also have an ID, that is patient ID. So this must be underlined because this is a primary key. So this ID will be unique for each and every patient. Next, again, patient will also have an address. Next, patient will also have a phone number. So the pay this should be written inside double oval. Again, over here, phone number is multi-valued attribute. Patient can have more than one phone number. So these are all the attributes of the entity patient. Next, for the entity medicine, what are all the attributes? Quantity. Quantity of the medicine. Next, price of the medicine. So what is the cost of the medicine which the patient has bought? Next, how much quantity is needed? So those two are the attributes related to the entity medicine. Now I should join the entities. Joining the entities can be done only by using relationship. Relationship means you should draw the diamond shape. So I should draw the diamond shape. So these two are the entities, doctor and patient. So I am joining those two. Next, patient and medicine are two entities. I am joining those two using the diamond shape. So this diamond shape is known as relationship. So inside this diamond shape, I am going to write treats. So doctor treats patient. So doctor will treat patient. After treating the patient, the patient will go and buy the medicines. So, bill. So, the patient will go and buy the medicines and pay the bill. So, this is the flow. The doctor will treat the patient. After treating the patient, the patient will go and buy the medicine which the doctor has told. So, this is the flow. So, doctor, patient and medicine are the entities and all these ovals are their corresponding attributes. And these diamond shapes are the relationship connecting to entities. So, that's all. So, this is the ER diagram of hospital management system. If you like this video, please like, subscribe and share it with your friends. Thank you.